Hi, I'm Nadim Murtzer, Chief Executive and Founder of Fearless Training and Services. When you are inspired by some great purpose, some extraordinary project, all of your thoughts break their bonds. Your mind transcends limitations and your consciousness expands in every direction and you find yourself in a great, new and wonderful world. Dormant forces, faculties and talents become alive and you discover yourself to be a great person than you ever dreamed yourself to be. Trust me, you have greatness within you. Greatness is not this wonderful esoteric, elusive, godlike feature only the special among us will ever taste. No, 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 no. It truly exists in all of us. You have fire within you that wants to burn bright. What you need to do is you need to kindle that inner fire. Trust yourself. Create a kind of life you'll be happy to live all your life. Make the most of yourself by fanning the inner tiny spark of possibilities into the flames of achievement. To achieve unachievable, you need to focus on your strength. You need to focus on your ideas. If you don't act on your ideas, you don't deserve the reward. If you are afraid to act on your ideas, you don't deserve the reward. It's that simple. That's a simple law. Don't be afraid to fail. Be fearless. Each time you fail, you get one step closer to success. Fail once, fail twice, fail better next time. Failure is fertilizer. No one is born being good at all things. We could be good at things by working hard, by working on our ideas. History is full of people who had failed before they succeeded. I can give you the examples of the icons of this planet like uh, MJ, Harry Potter, Les Brown, Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, they had failed before they achieved success in their lives. They did not believe in stagnation. They did not give up. They believed in themselves. They discovered their inner strength that was the best part of their life. 90% of the world population are living someone else's life. 90% of the world are following somebody else's command. That's the sad part. It kills me. I get heartbroken when I get a lot of the people having tremendous amount of strength, talents, but they're living somebody else's life. Someone is following politicians, someone is following someone in the neighborhood, someone is following a friend. But what you are, who you are, why you have been designed or created, that's the thing you need to dig deep so that you could emerge as a hero in the morning when you wake up, not the way the world wants you to be, not the way your father wants you to be, not the way your mom wants you to be, not the way your friends or relative wants you to be. What do you want? What kind of house do you want to have? What kind of business do you want to have? What kind of success do you want to have? What's your desire? What's your fire? This is what you need to know. Keep one thing in your mind. Your mind is a wonderful servant, but don't forget, it's a terrible master.